Metal sanding bits for dremeling dog's nails. Are they better than the sandpaper? Are they worth it? Hi guys, my name is Colleen. Welcome to Good Dog Grooming. I've used a lot of them and I've researched some of the other ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you my full report in this video. Here's what we're talking about in this video. The features of the different products that are available, the different options in every price range. And at the end, I'm gonna present to you guys the winners in three categories. Best overall, most affordable, but still good, and mid-range best. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to go through this quickly. There are five features that I wanna cover with you when you are shopping for one of these metal bits. Here are two sandpaper bits that I will use as an example because the feature I wanna explain first is that it is a hollow drum that fits over a mandrel. So these are both the same type of sandpaper hollow drum head and I have a metal one and so when you purchase it it's independent like this or it may or may not come with a mandrel but it, the point is that it is removable from the rubber cylinder when you loosen that screw and replace it. So that feature as opposed to a solid barrel already connected to an eighth inch shaft such as this. This is an example of that. This bit is sold all as one piece. There's nothing to remove or replace. There's no parts. And again, it's a similar result where you have an eighth inch shaft and a sanding bit above it. It's just one piece. The second feature out of the five features that I want to explain is whether your bit has straight sides or a concave design. This piece actually has this double concave design, which I find useless. So I actually kind of wish that it was only one like that, but it still works fine. And we have one other concave example that has a little bit of a taper. Okay, so basically that's just feature number two out of five that I want everyone to be aware of, is whether you're purchasing one with straight sides or a concave design. The third feature out of five features that I want to explain can actually use these same three bits again because the feature is whether or not it has a polishing bowl. Here is a polishing bowl. So as you can see, some bits do not have a polishing bowl. Just like this one is simply hollow in there. There's no polishing bowl, this one does. Now it's also a question of whether or not you care, which is why when you're shopping, you can decide if you do care, you make a little checklist of which features you care about and you decide if polishing bowl is what you want. Now, the only time that I think it is useful at all is if the polishing bowl has a finer grit than the sides because the point of it is to dremel the nails with a rougher grit and then polish them with the bowl. So all in one tool, you have two grits. So I find this one to be somewhat flawed because while it has the polishing bowl, the bowl is the exact same grit as the sides, which to me is very silly. Here's how you would use it. If this Dremel had a polishing bowl and you were doing the nails, you would Dremel the nail as usual, and then you would use it sort of in this motion to polish the nail. I personally don't care about polishing bowls, but some people do like them. All right, guys, so the fourth out of five features that I wanna talk about is the shaft type. So if you have a drum head with an eighth inch shaft, that's gonna go in to the Dremel's collet, and then you're gonna tighten the collet nut, and that's how that works, and you would use a wrench to tighten it, right? Versus a shaftless bit, such as this Dymagroove, for example, where you remove the Dremel collet and collet nut all together. Okay. And you're left with these threads on your Dremel. And this bit is threaded just the same as the inside of that Dremel's collet nut. And so this bit screws right onto those threads. And they make these because they're wider so they won't catch and twist up the hair. So that I call shaftless versus a shaft feature such as this. And you can see that that shaft, because I'm a groomer and I groom a lot, um, is completely 
just filled with little hairs that have built up around it because as it's spinning, if it grabs the hairs, that's where they end up and it just kind of clogs that area. So that's the disadvantage of a shaft and the advantage of the shaftless design. But our options for this tend to be more expensive, so these are still good to use. And the fifth out of five features that I want to discuss today is grit. And you can kind of tell both of these have a relatively fine grit. I'm going to guess they're about a 120. And this one's a little bit coarser, although the diamond groove does not list specific grits. This is the standard grit. And I would say it's a little more comparable to maybe a 60 or an 80. Now, I'm going to link in the description my which grit is best for Dremeling Dog's Nails video. And so I'm going to encourage you guys that if you're shopping for a metal bit to make a list of which of those five features you care about and which grit that you prefer based on that grit video. And that will help you narrow your options when you're shopping. Oh, and of course, obviously there's price to be considered. So you can write down your price range and that will also help you narrow your search. Okay, you guys, I made you this chart. Really, this is my brainstorming chart and I was not planning on using it officially in this video, but at the end of the day, I ran out of time and it will do. So here's how I organized all the products that I looked into for you. First of all, I just broke it up into price categories. Okay, practically free, pretty cheap, mid-range, pricey, and am I crazy for spending $150? Then I also did a little bit of a division here where the stuff below this line is the concave design and the stuff above is a cylindrical design. All right, guys, so we're just gonna go one price range category at a time. Practically free category is simply the sandpaper if you do not want to upgrade to the metal. And that's all good. And again, refer to my Witch Grit video, link in description, um, to figure out what's best because my favorite is 60, but 120 can be appropriate if you just have a really small dog with really small nails. But otherwise it's mostly just for polishing. Pretty cheap category. We've got one, two, three, four to review here, okay? There is a company called Groomer's Best Friend that makes a hollow drum and they also make a solid barrel one that we'll talk about later the hollow drum comes in two grits or you can get the set of both for 21 dollars. that's my favorite right there affordable grooming shears has a hollow drum option um two grits although i must have had some uncertainty there regardless i would recommend the 80 grit anyways now on amazon i came across this from something called shears direct and because it fits this price category and you might come across it i wanted to review it and tell you that I have not purchased it, but I find it to be suspect because it has mixed and bad reviews and unclear grit description. Lastly, this curved concave design, which I do like the design a lot, but I do find it a little bit suspect simply because maybe it's cheap. Um, it's almost too cheap, although it could be worth a try. And I, I am thinking about buying one just to try it, just so I could tell you guys whether it's good or not. But anyway, I'll link it in the description. You guys can look at it and decide it for yourself. It appears to be an 80 grit, and it does have a polishing bowl that appears to be the same grit, which I think is silly, because a polishing bowl should be a finer grit than the outside of the barrel. Now let's move on to our mid-range category. I've got one, two, three to review for you. On the Groomer's Best Friend website, they do have some solid barrel options, which I have listed. They are all 60 grit with 120 polishing bowl. So at least the bowl is a finer grit. So if you want the best of both worlds and both grits, this could be a good option. Comes in small, large, and extra large, or you can get both small and large, or you can get all three. Most people are just gonna want this one. All right, guys, on that affordablegroomingshears.com, they have their rough to buff series of solid barrel bits. So with this, it's actually an 80 grit with 120 grit polishing bowl. They have a small, a large, and a jumbo. And I, I don't recall why I put a question mark here on this chart. The website must have confused me slightly, but it seems to be you could get both for 35 or you could get the jumbo for 25. I, but again, I put a question mark there. I don't know why. I'm going to link in the description for you and or else you can get all three for 60. But if you are, most people are only gonna need one and that would be the winner in that case, in my opinion. All right, still in the mid-range category, I found on Amazon this, I don't know how you would pronounce it, Ovatavo, Avatavo. 
Um, it's a solid barrel concave design. And a couple of times that I've visited, they've had a different, very confusing set of options of sizes and grits. But if you look closely in the description, you can figure out which grit each one is as you select that option. And I favor the extra large 80 grit for $26. I actually did buy this. The set of two large is what I bought and I gave one away. And so here's the one that I still have. I do like this product, but now knowing what I know now, I would choose the 80 over the 100 grit next time. And that would be slightly coarser than what I'm holding here. All right, under the pricey category, back to our Groomer's Best Friend website. Groomer's Best Friend came out with a product called the Diamond G. And I have listed their original Diamond G and their like version two or generation two enhanced here. Okay, so if you're not worried about pinching pennies, then you're gonna go with their ver enhanced, okay? Because this one has the shaftless threaded design. I will put links in the description for these. They've got a small and a large attached to an eighth inch shaft. They've got the 80 grit on the sides and the 120 grit bowl pretty much the same thing on this enhanced version, but with the shaftless threaded design, 80 grit, 120 bowl, they have a small and a large. So if you are pinching pennies and you don't mind that it's got the shaft, then you can spend 50 bucks on the large. Even better would be the large with the shaftless design if you're willing to spend your 70 bucks. I have tried the Diamond G, some coworkers had them, and it is not my favorite. I didn't take to it well, but there are a lot of groomers that like them, and so it could be worth a try. Although, to me, it just seems like a knockoff that's not as good. But the price maybe reflects that. Now let's move over to the Dyma Group, which is in our Am I Crazy category on our chart here. Concave design, no polishing bowl, shaftless threaded. The Dyma Group comes in three styles. Their original is the Pinnacle, then they came out with the Boxer and the Detailer eventually, and I own this Dyma Groove. It's the boxer style in the standard grit. This is the most popular Dyma Groove and the most highly recommended. Any of those three options that they sell are gonna be $150 in any grit as well. They come in different grits. So again, that's addressed at the end of my grit video and you will likely pay shipping and they will upsell you the cleaning kit, which you may or may not need. Eventually I'll make a more thorough video covering everything I know about the Diamond Group. All right, so it's time to announce the winners. In my opinion, the best overall is the Diamond Group. It is also the most expensive at $150. I'll put links in the description for that. My winner for most affordable, but still good is the Affordable Grooming Shears Hollow Drum. It's $10 plus shipping and you choose your grit. And as for the mid-range best option, my chosen winner is that Amazon purchase of the Avatavo, the one pack extra large, $26 on Amazon. I'll link that in the description. A close tie for second goes to both the affordable grooming shears and the groomer's best friend solid barrel options. I don't know, guys. Was that too much information? At the end of the day, it comes down to which features appeal to you, what grit you want, and what price you're willing to spend. So if you make a little checklist of those, that'll narrow it down for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you found it valuable because that helps me to reach more people. And feel free to subscribe because I'm always working on new content for you guys. My name's Colleen. Thank you so much for watching.